All right, I'm gonna to talk to you about block programming. So we set up our programming on the principle of block programming. So what block programming is, is each block is 10 minutes. So when you see in a workout that this is two blocks for strength, or the Metcon is one block, or the uh, strong sandbag work is gonna be three blocks, so that's 30 minutes. So each block is how many minutes you have for that portion. We want you to stay within the parameters of blocks. So we set it up with five blocks per day. So that's gonna be 50 minutes. So if you take that 50 minutes and we'll give you time to transition, to set things up. So another 10 minutes lost there. That's how we're able to keep our workout sessions in to less than an hour or one hour session. So we need you to stick with the blocks, do the best you can. If you have one block for the prehab warm up, then you have 10 minutes. Uh, at 10 minutes, go ahead and just stop wherever you're at and you'll move on to the next. Let's say that it's two blocks of strength. So you're gonna have 20 minutes to perform whatever the strength work is and move on. If you start going beyond the time, it takes longer and longer. Next thing you know, some of these workouts can take you an hour and a half or two hours if you're not staying on task. We wanna provide you with an extremely effective and efficient one hour session so that if you have more time to train, you can use that to work on more conditioning, running, hiking, uh, mobility, accessory strength work, skill work. So whatever you would like to work on, we wanna provide you time to do that. Our workout session is designed to be done in one hour. So we use blocks to do that. One block is 10 minutes. Let's try to stay with the recommended time for blocks and move on to the next session. And the block programming is also gonna help you when it comes to being safe and you're scaling. So if you know you have 10 minutes to complete one block of pull-ups, kettlebell swings, and a run, you're gonna adjust the weight maybe on the kettlebell swings for how many rounds we wanna get within that block. So you can adjust the loading to know you need to fit that within 10 minutes. If you go super heavy, again, let's say we have, you're gonna do 10 deadlifts, 10 uh, pistol squats, and a 200 meter run and you have 10 minutes to complete four rounds you know what we're trying to fit into 10 minutes uh, that many rounds so you can adjust the loading you don't want to be too heavy so that it'll take you seven minutes to complete one round so that's going to help you adjust the loading and give you an idea of how to scale using the block programming and we hope that helps you out good luck